Isaiah 33, verse 12. And the people shall be as the burnings of lime, as stones cut up shall they be burned in the fire. Kal halal yahawah b'ashem, yahawah shai b'ashem, rachach wadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders of great millstone where I learned this truth from. Peace and salutation to the brothers on down teaching, preaching, pushing this gospel. Good news to four corners of the earth, waking up the hopeful elect of the house of Israel. Greetings also to the few sisters, the elect ladies out there tuning into these video epistles. They say strike while the iron is hot. Just jump back on here with another quick lesson. We call this one playing with fire. Fear him. Just go straight back into it because there's a lot of people who they're just not getting they haven't received the memo so to speak you're supposed to fear the law but they do not fear him so there's a payback recompense for these people with all of their behavior you're going to be met with judgment judgment is really really close people are meeting it on the hour every hour so it seems back to the scripture here we re let's read it again isaiah 33 12 and the people shall be as the burnings of lime as thorns cut up shall they be burned in the fire hear ye that are far off what i have done and ye that are near acknowledge my might the sinners in zion are afraid fearfulness hath surpassed the hypocrites who among us shall dwell with the devouring fire who among us shall dwell with everlasting burnings no one you're gonna learn to fear him. And that's what this lesson is about. Fearing the Lord. Learn to fear him. Why? Let's see Hebrews 12. This is repeating. We're just going to repeat a few of them in this lesson. Hebrews 12. Uh, 12 from uh, 20, 25, I think. Yes. See that ye refuse not him that speaketh. For if they escape not who refuse him that spake on earth... Much more shall not we escape if we turn away from him that speaketh from heaven. So the prophets and teachers are out there and all they've been met with uh, a ridicule and uh, what's the word? In incredulity. People just don't believe. They think it's a joke. But they're not laughing so much anymore. The scoffers are drying up. These words are sinking in. But for many, it's too late. The two thirds, they're wagging their hands they're still having a good time verse 26 of hebrews 12 here whose voice then shook the earth but now he hath promised saying yet once more i shake not the earth only but also heaven as the, the, the rulership all the heavens the whole place is going to be rocking to and fro and this word yet once more signify the removing of those things that are shaken as of things that are made that those things which cannot be shaken may remain. Wherefore, we are receiving a kingdom which cannot be moved. Let us have grace whereby we may serve Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai acceptably with reverence and godly fear. Why, here's a good reason for our power, whose name is Yahweh, is a consuming fire. Get in a memo. We ought to fear him. And where did that come from? Let's get Deuteronomy. Paul, I can't remember how many times, over and over, just repeated what was said in the Old Testament. People uh, uh, against his uh, teachings, his writings, to their own detriment, as Peter says in one of his epistles. For Deuteronomy 4, let's just get 23 and 24. Take heed unto yourselves, lest ye forget the covenant of Yahweh, your power, which ye made with you, and made you a graven image, or the likeness of anything which the Lord thy God has forbidden thee. But we didn't take notice. We're not taking notice now. The majority, the two-thirds of Hebrew Israelites, they're doing whatever they like. They're worshipping another God. They've got the name of another power in their mouth. The Lord has forbidden this. For the Lord thy God is a consuming fire, even a jealous power. That's what he is. You were warned not to do it. Don't do it. Back to Hebrews, I think. Hebrews. Let's go right back there. We're going to read these first few verses. The Most High, who at sundry times and in divers manners spake in times past unto the, the fathers by the prophets, 
Not in these last days spoken unto us by his son. His name is Yahweh Shai. It means he's our savior, redeemer. He's our deliverer. There's people fighting against, oh, you're not supposed to worship him. Just go directly to the Father. Well, there's examples of what happened when we've tried that in the past. He's a consuming fire. Can you speak to fire and thunder and lightnings? We're going to find out whom he has appointed heir of all things, by whom also he made the worlds, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power when he had by himself purged our sins and you dare to question whether you should worship him. Who are you? Sat down on the right hand of the majesty on high, being made so much better than the angels, as he had by inheritance obtained a more excellent name than they. Who are these people fixing their mouth to say you're not supposed to worship Yahawashai? They don't have any fear for unto... Which of the angels said he at any time, Thou art my son, this day have I begotten thee? None. And again, I will be to him a father, and he shall be to me a son. And again, when he bringeth into the first begotten into the world, he saith, And let all the angels of the Most High worship him. He's before all of them. This is a commandment from Yahweh himself to worship the Son. It's a scripture that kiss the Son. Kiss the Son means worship him. And of the angels he said, who maketh his angels spirits and his ministers a flame of fire. Well, this word is going out and it's the fire that is cutting up and going through the earth right now. Where next? Psalms. Psalms 104. Let's get some of these. Psalms 104, let's go from 1 to 4, I think. Bless the Lord, O my soul, O Lord my God, Yahweh my power. Thou art very great, thou art clothed with honor and majesty, who covers thyself with light as with a garment, who stretches out the heavens like a curtain. This is the King David, a man after the Most High's own heart, speaking about the might of Yahweh, who layeth the beams of his chambers in the waters, who maketh the clouds his chariot, who walketh upon the wings of the wind, who maketh his angels spirits, his ministers a flaming fire. Who are you to question the validity of our Savior? You're going to get it. Judgment is coming soon. You're playing with fire. Fear him. Where am I? Most I set up the wicked, this uh, Edomite calling himself the white man. It's the devil that the Bible speaks of. Let's get, he's just been used as a tool. Uh, Isaiah 54. He's totally confused, thinking he is the savior. But look at this. 54 and 16, behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. What's a smith? It's a weapons maker, an artificer, or artificer, however you say that word. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And I have created the waster to destroy. That's this man. That's all he's about. It's death and destruction, rape, plunder, pillage. That's all he does over and over and over. And people still can't see who he is. He's not getting the blame, well, up until now. But the Most High is pulling the veil from this man, and Esau is being laid bare. Where there is Cain, whose name means Quayan, it's a dagger. A Tubal Cain, which is his with cousin further down the line. That's an artificer, the first weapons maker that is uh, known of in the scriptures. That's written. That's what his job was. And then is Esau, Esau, uh, Esau, Edom whose blessing given to him by Isaac is the sword. And all he is is like a, a destruction or destructive machine. It just goes all around. Hammer of the earth is one of the scriptures that come to mind. But what about this one here? Uh, Psalm 17, 13. Arise, O Lord, disappoint him, cast him down, deliver my soul from the wicked. Who's that? It's Esau, Edom, Malachi 1 and 4. Job 9, 24 tells the earth has been given into this man's hand temporarily, but it's coming to an end and his grip is being loosened. Jacob has got a firm grip of his heel and this word 
This truth is rocking him right now. Deliver my soul from the wicked, which is thy sword. This man has been removed and all he's got to do is just get on with the mandatory implementation of your uh, device. Just make it mandatory. Revelation 13, 16, that's where we are. Do it. We're in the causing of your madness, that causing state, he cause it all. Both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond. Get on with it. And then after that, it's gonna be fire by way of nuclear nightmare. Can't wait, can't wait. Let's wrap up with these verses here in Psalm 103. Start at 12, as far as the east is from the west, so far as he removed our transgression, our who? It's the children of Israel, those spirits chosen from before the beginning of the world. Refer to ourselves as the hopeful elect. They've given us a bunch of bywords. You've got to call yourself uh, uh, niggers, negroes, blacks, hispanics, uh, native americans, uh, latinos, and a bunch of other names we care not much for those. Like as a father pitieth his children, so the Lord pitieth them that fear him, for he knoweth our frame. He remembereth that we are dust. As for man, his days are grass. As a flower of the field, so he flourisheth. For the wind passeth over it, and it is gone, and the place thereof shall know it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is all caps. Yahweh is from everlasting to everlasting upon them that fear him. Who fears him is his children, is his people. He's a father to us. We fear our power. We know his might. We've experienced it. We've seen it. And his righteousness unto children's children to keep to such as keep his covenant. Well, you can't keep something that's not given to you. Only the children of Israel was given a covenant. And on this side of the destruction that is to come, it's the one-third elect who's going to hearken, whose pure minds have been stirred up. To keep his command to those that remember his commandments to do them. The Lord hath prepared his throne in the heavens, and his kingdom ruleth over all. Bless the Lord, ye his angels that excel in strength, that do his commandments all the time, hearkening unto the voice of his word. Bless ye the Lord, all ye his hosts, ye ministers, ministers of his that do his pleasure all the time. Bless the Lord all his works in all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Kal halal Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem Rachach Kodash. Praises to our power. That's his name. Yahweh, his only begotten son, is Yahweh Shai. And we're not gonna stop calling on the true names I'm going to leave it there for the lesson you're listening to playing with fire fear him we don't fear no guy no we fear our power Shalawah means peace until the next lesson no fear no sorrow no sir <laughs>